Six years ago, on a sunny day in March 2019, these solar panels generated 10 kilowatt hour, which I monitored through the entire day. Now, back then, those were the only measuring tools that I had, so I did record for the whole day my electric panel, and I went there from hour to hour. Hour. Today we don't need to do that anymore with apps such as this one or such as this one. And I'm going to share with you six years later how are my panels doing in an almost exactly same day as six years ago. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. We will only focus on the 1.5 kilowatt our system that I did install initially because as you guys know I did share here on the channel that I did install a few more systems but we are going to leave those out of the way for today. Later I start using solutions like Weebee and Shelly which I will leave links down below as well which measure and record solar production and also energy consumption without having to stand in front of the electrical panel watching numbers or recording with a camera like I did but back then that was exactly my tools and the link will be down below just in case you want to check that out that original video. Now I did try to measure the production again in this month March 2025 and I live in Portugal. Now March has been a rainy month, crazy rainy month like we haven't seen for the past 30 years or so, which is great because we have a lack of water. So right now we have our, I was not recalling the name, our dams full of water, which means that we can have water for agriculture, for golf courses, for the tourism, for ourselves that live right over here. And that is great. Hopefully our government will think of ways to minimize the damages of dry seasons, not only when we are already like this. But politics aside, this just means that I wasn't able to measure exactly the same condition on a day in 2019 and 2025. So if we look at the graphs, we can see that every day in March had clouds or rain. The closest exceptions were March 23 with 9.66 kilowatt hour total production, but we can see right over there a visible dip in the curve. Yep those are clouds and on March 25 9.63 kilowatt hour but as we can see there are clouds as well during the morning while in March 15 2019 there were no clouds at all it was just a perfect production day it looked like summer and the link will be down below so that you have an idea of the day that it was and i'm recording this video in march 27 and according to the forecast there will be no completely sunshine days so i will not be able to compare march to march and to me it doesn't make any sense to compare april to march because we will start having different days so having the data in hand 10 kilowatt hour march 15 2019 and now march 20 or 26 2025 we can see that we have a difference of 10 kilowatt hour to 9.66 kilowatt hour and if we forget about the clouds and assume that 10 kilowatt hour is the total and 9.66 kilowatt hour is the total then we have a loss of less than four percent in six years using this panel now in my opinion without any data i would assume that without those clouds that you have seen we would reach very near the 10 kilowatt hour and once again in my opinion without any scientific data to show you i would assume that the loss in six years is below two percent which is in my opinion just awesome. Are my panels special? No. Back then they were the best panels priced to performance that I could find. These days they are completely outdated because we have a lot better panels, bigger capacities, things that we didn't have back then and probably soon I will upgrade those. My system is completely 
paid for and in the meantime there will be some changes here in terms of solar PV and things that we can add to solar systems that I will be sharing you especially because I love this and if you do as well I will leave a link down below with the playlist of videos that I did share and although those videos are a bit outdated probably if you are thinking about acquiring your solar PV system there will be some ideas that I hope that will help. In the meantime if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing it so because I will be sharing some interesting videos that I love and I love sharing so that's what we do right over here. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.